Yesterday, we learned that Kyle Lowry is selling his $5.3 million Toronto mansion. So, does this mean that the Toronto Raptors are set to trade away their superstar? Let's get into it. Welcome to Amateur Our Sports, this is the channel where you get NBA content with a focus on the Toronto Raptors. So if you like what you see from today's video and you want more of myself talking about the Raptors in videos just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, show your support to the channel. We also do live stream watch alongs for the Raptors as they play their games, like the game they are playing tonight against the Washington Wizards. Check out all the great content you missed out on in the last stream. Ah! Wow, some great content you missed out on by not being at the stream. Be there tonight for the watch long against the Washington Wizards. But let's get into the video. So, you know, I was planning on doing this video anyway regarding Kyle Lowry getting traded, but then all this news in the past few days has surfaced about Kyle Lowry and whether or not he is going to be traded. So it all started with this tweet from NBA Central. You know, pretty reputable Twitter page. You know, if you're on Twitter, you've probably seen this page here or there. But this page doesn't have really inside sources. What they do is they take news articles from other places like me and they just report on them. They would just dish out whatever the Bleacher Report said. So basically, the Bleacher Report has said that there are some people in the Raptors camp who believe that the Toronto Raptors should trade Kyle Lowry. Well, now let's look at the wording of this tweet. Basically, there's no factual evidence supporting anything claimed by the Bleacher Report with this tweet here. But obviously, Toronto fans, being Toronto fans, just jump on news so quickly. They just absolutely just jump on it and make the most out of it, jump to these huge conclusions. You know, what I like to do is try to process these sort of news articles and, you know, look at the facts behind it. Now, looking at this tweet, looking at the wording, it's just basically saying, well, the Toronto Raptors might trade Kyle Lowry. Some people believe that they should trade Kyle Lowry, but there's nothing supporting that Raptors are going to trade. It's just some people might believe that they should trade Kyle Lowry. So from this, based off what we're getting here from Bleach Report and from NBA Central, we're not getting any real concrete evidence supporting the Toronto Raptors trading Kyle Lowry. Now, should they trade Kyle Lowry? That is something we will address later in the video, but we're going to go into what it means that he's selling his house in Toronto and should the Raptors trade Kyle Lowry. So let's start with about this, this housing dilemma here. So Kyle Lowry, I, I think the evidence supports that, yes, Kyle Lowry's mansion is up for sale in Toronto. So does that mean that he is is getting traded absolutely well i think it's important to consider the fact that well they're not playing in canada right now they're not playing in toronto in fact they are not even allowed to go visit canada right now because of all these restrictions going on so kyle lowry is in tampa right now i imagine he's living in tampa whether he owns a home there i doubt it but you know maybe he does the bubble, the NBA bubble that took place in, started in July, was also not in Canada. And following the bubble, it was off-season mode for these players. So when the bubble, the training camps for the bubble started, what, July 9th to 11th, Kyle Lowry was not in Toronto. He was not in Canada. He was in the U.S. And then once the Raptors got eliminated in the second round of the playoffs in a Game 7 against the Boston Celtics, I don't imagine, now here's where I just have to speculate, I don't imagine Kyle Lowry spends his summers in Toronto. Now, I absolutely could be wrong here, but I don't imagine Kyle Lowry spends his summers where he's not playing basketball in Canada, in Toronto. So, if we're going to infer that Kyle Lowry does not spend his off-seasons in Toronto, he was not in his house in Toronto all the way through July because he was in the bubble through August and also in the off season leading up to this current NBA season where he's not playing in Toronto as well. He's only in the U.S. Therefore, I think we can safely assume Kyle Lowry has not been to his Toronto home for an extended period of time, at least in the past, what, eight months? So he's not been to this home worth $5.3 million in, let's say, eight months. Now, we're just speculating. Maybe he was there a little bit on, in the offseason, but in this current NBA season, he won't be going to that home. He won't be going to Canada. He is in Tampa right now because of all the restrictions. They simply cannot play in Canada. Travel bans just will not allow it. Therefore, this extended period of time, this like, like over half a year where he has not been in his Toronto home. Now, let's also recognize the fact that Kyle Lowry's contract is expiring, so maybe he's preparing for the event that happened because right now there is a housing price spike going on in Toronto. Yes, over the course of 2020, there was a decently large spike in housing costs in Toronto. So 
Kyle Lowry, who hasn't been to his house in an extended period of time. Kyle Lowry, who won't be going to his house for the foreseeable future because he is in Tampa right now, living in Tampa, and recognizing the fact that maybe he'll get traded, and recognizing the fact that maybe he'll leave in free agency, and that he won't be going back to his house anytime soon, and also recognizing the housing price spike going on in Toronto, has decided it would be best for financial purposes to put up his house for sale right now and number one capitalize on the housing market spike and number two prepare for the event that maybe he gets traded and prepare for the event that maybe he leaves in free agency because he's not going back to his house anytime soon so i don't think that this housing selling process is really supporting him staying or supporting him leaving i just think it's an event that is going on that is not going to affect the raptors trading him an event that is going on that is not going to affect him leaving in free agency i just think kyle lowry is not going to his house anytime soon and selling it at a high price 5.3 million dollars so why not capitalize and why not just cash in when you're not going to be at that house anyway now, obviously people are going to just jump to conclusions about that i really don't think kyle lyra would have any inside knowledge on whether he would be getting traded i just don't think the organization would convey that to the player as he's playing for his current team like yeah we're looking to trade you we're trying to trade you but you know go out there and still do your best for this team i don't think you know that you should be treating your greatest raptor of all time like that now i don't also don't think that the raptors are in any sort of rush to trade kyle lowry i imagine they still want to stay competitive this season so i i don't think they're really rushing to get him out of the door so none of this really makes sense to me I, obviously people on twitter are just going to jump on certain things and just jump on news like this and you know i'm jumping on the news like this on my youtube channel so what makes me any better I, all i'm doing here i'm just analyzing what I've seen, I've done some background research, I'm sitting in front of a camera and a microphone and conveying my opinion on the matter. And what I think about this situation is that it means nothing. It, it, it Maybe it could mean something, but really, on the surface level, the stuff that we know currently about this situation, like all we know is that Kyle Lowry is selling his mansion. So I don't think that really favors Kyle Lowry leaving. I also don't think it favors Kyle Lowry staying. Now, Obviously, this could mean something, but at this present moment, it doesn't. Kyle Lowry doesn't go to his house in Toronto. He hasn't been to his house in Toronto for a long period of time, for at least eight months. So why not sell and cash in when there is a housing market spike going on in Toronto? So that makes the most logical sense to me. Kyle Lowry is just simply cashing in on the house and preparing in the event that maybe he gets traded because he might and he might leave in free agency but we just simply don't have the factual evidence to support that now that is just the factual part of this now let's get into the opinionated part of this do i think that the toronto raptors should be trading kyle lowry this season or do i think they should let him walk in free agency? Let's, let, let's analyze the trade process so kyle lowry the greatest raptor of all time no doubt no doubt there's no argument don't try to tell me it's Kawhi leonard or anybody else Kyle Lowry is the greatest Raptor of all time. Now, obviously, I would be heartbroken to see him go, but should the Raptors trade their six-time All-Star and try to prepare for the future? I think that, you know, if you want to stay competitive and you want to just be the best you can be this season and best you can be is probably like a six seed, a five seed, and lose in the first round of the playoffs, maybe second round of the playoffs. That's just me being a realist here. If you want to look at it like that, you want to do that, then you'd keep Kyle Lowry. But I think that... It would be good to entertain the possibility of trading Kyle Lowry, but I don't think you should disrespect him by trading to a non-contender. There are going to be some contenders who want this guy on their team, like the Philadelphia 76ers, who must be looking at their team like this could be their year. The way they're playing, you know, one of the highest seeds, if not the highest seed in the Eastern Conference by the end of the season. They are playing good basketball, and they have definitely lacked, you know, pure point guard stuff, pure point guard playing in the past with Ben Simmons there obviously a talented player but a pure point guard type of guy in Kyle Lowry and a serial winner in Kyle Lowry I think that would be good to send Kyle Lowry back to his hometown and I think it would be good to for Philly to bring him in now the problem is Kyle Lowry is a very difficult player to trade and Philly are not in the best position to trade him because Kyle Lowry makes a lot of money. He's making $30 million a year, so you have to match up salaries. So in order for the Raptors to actually trade Kyle Lowry to the 76ers, obviously, we want some prospects. Like, we want Maxi, we want Thibault, we want Shake Milton, but... 
you have to acquire money in return money like the 15 million dollars that danny green is making money like potentially the seven million dollars that mike scott is making or the five million dollars that Tony Bradley is making plus some picks. There's a lot that you would have to get back from Philly that would really tarnish their depth in order to get Kyle Lowry there and bring in prospects. I know that Raptors fans, and I'm in the greens here, we don't want to sell for anything less than two of the three prospects of Thibel, Milton, and Maxi. I think that I would be most content with getting Thibel, a guy who's showing some all defense level potential, and a guy like Shake Milton as well. I would like those two guys in the trade, but you also have to get the money. Danny Green's $15 million, potentially Mike Scott's $7 million, and also potentially, you know, one of Mike Scott or Tony Bradley. I wouldn't mind Tony Bradley to get us some, some center depth because obviously right now our only center is Aaron Baines, and then we had the stretch big and Chris Boucher playing there. Wouldn't mind some extra center depth, so bringing in Tony Bradley would, would help us out there, but the trade doesn't really work work if it's only green bradley and two of those prospects philly might feel like they're giving away too much depth the raptors probably maybe feel like they won't be getting enough in return for kyle lowry so it's a difficult situation but it is one that the teams can work out i think the raptors would also have to get a pick somewhere in that but again that is a pretty handsome asking price to trade away kyle lowry another team who has shown interest in the past in kyle lowry is the los angeles clippers but after rinsing their entire future to get paul george I don't want to get involved in any sort of trade negotiations with that team. They just simply have no future assets that would entice me to trade Kyle Lowry. Now, I think the best situation would be to trade Kyle Lowry to the 76ers and Obviously, it's difficult, as I've said. However, you can make it work. This is something that the Raptors and the 76ers could work out, but it is on Daryl Morey and the Philadelphia 76ers to decide if they want to really make that one push for the NBA championship, risk losing those future prospects, those future talented players like Thibel and like maybe a Maxi, like maybe a Shake Milton, and go for it. Now, right now, would you really want to fix what ain't broke because the 76ers are rolling right now? But come playoff time, you know, they're a pretty easy team to figure out and they do lack, you know, some shooting. Obviously, Seth Curry is playing out of his mind right now, like shooting, what, 50, 50, 90 at the moment, shooting above 50% from three. So that's a good guy to have. Obviously, they're shooting a lot better, but having a serial winner, a guy who's done it, a veteran player who has already won his championship and can help you push you over the line in Kyle Lowry, that might be something that they need. But it is on the 76ers to decide if it is worth the risk to acquire Kyle Lowry and bring him in. So bottom line, if I was the Raptors at the deadline, I would probably entertain the possibility of trading Kyle Lowry. I, I wouldn't like force him out the door, but if a good offer comes in, you get some prospects, maybe some picks, I would. I think I would trade Kyle Lowry. As much as it would pain me, hurt my chest, you know, maybe I'd cry about it, but Kyle Lowry, the greatest Raptor of all time, you got to look at the organization's future. I don't think Kyle Lowry would mind going hunting for another ring, maybe trying to make an outside Hall of Fame push later on in his career, but I don't think that trading Kyle Lowry would be a bad idea here to look towards the future. This is a transition year for the Toronto Raptors. They've got their core locked in and OG and Anobi, Fred Van Fleet, and Pascal Siakam. They got to build some pieces around them to be competitive maybe next year probably not though but in a couple years can we get the pieces to make ourselves competitive i think that absolutely the raptors can realistically look at that and if you can acquire assets to trade kyle lowry and not lose him for free in the summer then that's what i think that they should do now if they don't trade kyle lowry and he's here and he's in free agency I think you got to look at some other places. You know, there's a lot of guys available. If you can decide that maybe you can make a push for somebody like, you know, Victor Oladipo, maybe like a DeMar DeRozan, then maybe the Raptors should do that instead of giving Kyle Lowry a lot of money again because he's making $30 million. I don't imagine he wants to take a significant pay cut to help the Raptors stay competitive in free agency. So a lot of things to go on there. But at the moment, you know, we, we can't even talk about that yet. We're talking about Kyle Lowry's house. We're talking about the possibility of getting him traded. I know a lot of you think that Kyle Lowry will stay. I'm in the mindset that either Kyle Lowry is getting traded or he is gone in free agency. I think that's the best for the organization. Obviously, I love Kyle Lowry. He's the greatest Raptor of all time. He's one of the main contributors to us being successful in playoff situations. However, you got to look towards the future. That's my mindset. Help build the future around the core that you've committed to for the next four years. So that's all of my opinions on the situation. Obviously, I'm like everybody else. I don't have any inside knowledge. I'm just reporting and talking about based off of the facts that I have conjured up, that I've looked for, and, and just delve my opinion in front of a camera. If you disagree with me or agree with me, let me know and let me know all of your thoughts and opinions 
on this situation in the comments down below but that wraps it up for me for today thank you so much for watching if you are still here please like the video if you like and subscribe to amateur sports for more content just like this as well we got the live streams we got all these videos we got videos coming over the next few days as well every day over the next few days plus the live stream watch logs like the one tonight for the game against the washington Wizards. like the one tomorrow night for the game against the boston celtics and we also have a video tomorrow at 1 30 p.m eastern time to talk about the raptors game against the wizards however it may unfold but thank you again for watching at the end of the day i believe what i say if you disagree that is okay we'll see you again next time for another video